Hi, if you're about to go into a trade show, run a conference, or perhaps you'd like to run a retail promotion through a dealer or one of your stores, we've got a very simple way for you to attract more people to your event. It's the treasure chest and key promotion. It's not a new idea, but it's an oldie and a goodie because it works. It's really simple. We supply you a treasure chest, and inside it you put some prizes that your guests or clients would like to win. And then to get them to your event, we supply you with winning and losing keys. The keys are attached to an invitation telling your customers where to go and of course the prize is to be won in the treasure chest. The only way they can win a prize is to go to your event. Of course you can buy the treasure chest if you're going to use them regularly or if it's just a one or two day show, just hire it for the days and then return it. And of course you choose the number of keys. Uh, if there were perhaps a thousand people going, we would have a thousand keys and you might say, I'd like 10 winners, 20 winners, 30 winners, feeling generous, give them 100 winners. And then we supply you two bundles, your losing keys and your winning keys. And these are then given to your clients. Now, let's talk about the prizes that go inside the box. Obviously, you'll choose prizes that are going to be attractive to your customers so that they will want to come to your stand for a chance of winning. Don't just have one major prize. The danger with that is, is that one guy could turn up on the very first morning with the opening key and the promotion's finished. Have a number of prizes and plenty of consolation prizes so that during the course of the event there are winners turning up and opening the chest. And by the way, when you're putting the prizes in the treasure chest, make little vouchers, put the vouchers in identical envelopes, and then put every prize in the envelopes inside the box. So when a guy turns up with a winning key, opens the box, he can't cherry pick the best prize. A lot of people want to get a database from the visitors that are attending their stand. There's a really easy way to do that, and that's with the second chance draw. Produce your cards and of course attach the keys to them, but on the back of the card, announce that there's a prize for those that have got losing keys. So a guy turns up at your stand, tries the lock, it doesn't open, and you can say, well, never mind, my friend, you didn't win the, uh, the prize in the chest, but did you know there is a weekend away or a set of tools or whatever the prize is worth X amount of dollars? Would you like to be in it? If they say yes, ask them to complete their name, details, and of course their email address, which is on the back of the card. Drop the card in a barrel. At the end of the show, pull out one of the cards, which becomes your winner. They get the prize, but of course, you get the prize as well. You get a barrel full of leads and names, addresses, and particularly email addresses. Very important these days, so that you've got permission from each visitor to send them emails on your mailing list. If one of the reasons why you're going to the show is to build up a database, make sure that the second chance prize is equal to or greater than the prize that the winning keys will get. Why? If you're offering a second chance prize and the prize is a bottle of wine or a movie ticket, you're not going to be bothered to fill in the card. But if it's another trip to New Zealand, that might be the temptation that you need. If you want the maximum number of visitors at your trade show, a little pre-planning will help. Perhaps you can sponsor the lanyards and attach a key to every visitor's name badge that goes through the show. Or sponsor the carry bags and attach your key to the outside of the bag. If it's a luncheon or a breakfast, put the cards on everybody's chair or table. And by the way, that works very well at seminars. Go to the seminar room beforehand, blanket every chair in the auditorium with the invitation and the key so the guests are guaranteed to get their key and hopefully visit your stand after the speaker. Whilst the treasure chest and key works really well at a trade show, it'll work just as well in dealer land and with your retailers. Offer your guys the treasure chest and key promotion. Print up the cards with the invitations, put the prizes on the cards, and let the retailer mail them out or give them to their customers. Or maybe they offer the customers a key if they spend 10 or $20 in store. Once it works in one retailer, you just move to the next, send to the next, send to the next. Get the program right, and just roll it from store to store. Of course, you can use the treasure chest and keys to draw card to your own event. 
amongst your staff or your dealers. Issue them the cards, but instead of asking for their name and address on the back, ask a couple of questions about your products. You'll get free market research, you'll get it quickly, and the cost is just a prize at the end of the day. Many of us go to conferences these days and the conference organisers are always badgering us. Give us an evaluation form, tell us what we did right. Well, one way that you can get more of those evaluation forms back is to attach a key to every one. When they complete their evaluation, they get a chance to take home a prize at the end of the day. And finally, I know a lot of you are involved in fundraising and charity events. Instead of selling raffle tickets, next time, sell keys to the treasure chest. Five for $20. When the keys are sold, they can come and try their luck. And the prizes have just generally been donated by your supporters. Well, that's the treasure chest and key promotion. It's simple. It's effective, it's easy to run, and most of all, it's fun.